Hello, welcome to the Indoor Sim. I'm Jed Walters. In this video, I want to help you understand why you may be topping your fairway woods um, and show you the key to striking them much better. So let's take a look. So what do I mean by your intention? Well, the reality is, even though it's a fairway wood, we still need the golf club to hit the ground in the correct spot. And for most of you, your intention is to try and get the club and sweep it. So you're trying to get the club to sweep the golf ball up off the ground with very, very little contact, if any, in mind. Because generally, for a lot of you out there, hitting the ground is a bad thing because it happens before the contact with the golf ball. So, when you're getting your golf club and it's moving this way and it's staying away from the ground, then as it moves up, as the low point doesn't reach the ground and it then starts to move away from the ground even more, this is where your contact is happening. So you're hitting the golf ball very low on the club face or even topping it by catching it on the sole. Um, it happens a lot, if I put the stick on the ground here, it happens a lot because the body is moving in the wrong direction. Your pressure is going away from target. So the center of the body, the bottom of your circle starts to move back here. So we try and get this flipping action to make some sort of contact and your timing then depends on whether or not you're good or no good. Um, what we need to do is change that intention. The ball's on the ground, so the club must interact with the ground in the same way. Our ball position becomes key to that. So reality is we'd like the club at impact to be fairly level or slightly downwards, slightly negative angle of attack. Now, because our stance is wider with the fairway woods, our sternum is more behind the golf ball, even moving towards the target with the pressure, the body's still going to be behind the impact very slightly. Um, obviously, as you go into your driver, you've got to teed up a little bit more over here, you're a little bit more behind the impact, which helps us launch it up in the air. So let's look at how we want to set up then with our fairway wood and how we can get the best out of it. I'm going to hit a few shots here on a flight scope and we're going to see if we can get a slightly negative angle of attack. Um, if it's a little level or it's a little negative, perfect. If it's up, then that's not good because our strike's not going to be good. So ball position, we want it to be a few inches inside of the left heel for me or lead heel. Um, so when we're taking our setup there, I've got this T-claw on the ground so I can see and identify where that ball position is to the stance. So I'm going to move maybe three or four inches left foot and then the rest of the way with my right foot. So my trail side is set behind it a little bit. My balance is pretty even, maybe even a fraction onto the left side, maybe 55% with my pressure. So that's pushing into the ground slightly more left foot than right foot. My ball position then is more sort of in line with sort of my collarbone stroke left armpit. And from this point here, as I make my backswing, I want the pressure of the body to be moving left so I can hit the ground in my mind in the correct spot. So even if when you're outside and you're on the golf course and you're taking little divots, a bit like Sergio, that is okay. Let's hit a couple of shots and see what our angle of attack is. So on that one there, minus 0 0.6, so half a degree down, which is perfect because that is that slight downward angle. That's me getting the good contact with the ground. Let me go again. So go through that routine, get that ball position to try and get that same feeling, that brush into the mat as we go through the bottom. Okay, so it's not picked that one up. Let's hit one more, see if we can get some data off one more strike. And again, that one there, minus 1.6 degrees down. So there, I've got my body moving in the right way, club is interacting with the ground in the correct way, and I'm now striking the ball much better, so I'm gonna get some good spin, I'm gonna get some good distance, I'm gonna get some good launch, and I'm not gonna hit any topped shots. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, then there's a couple of things that you need to do. Number one is post your comments in the box below. I'd really love to hear your thoughts. And two, click the like button, click that thumbs up, while you're down there, why not subscribe to the channel, click that little bell notification as well, so you know when the next video is being released, and we'll see you again next time.